So let's create a curtain wall and use Edit Pomade Animate to modify parameters after we create them. So let's stop this IPR. And we have a, another poly that I divided and by the architectural office design with instructions. And so uh, I will add or apply a new edit modifier on top of this edit poly. And I will make sure to check this anime. Now I am going to select all of these polygons. I'm going to use insert command, type select by polygon, and type two centimeters and go out. Again, I will apply a new edit body. Select animate. Do not forget this animate. And select all those previously selected faces and use extrude and type two. And we'll let it be by polygon. And now I'll go and apply a third one. And I'm going to check the animate and I'm going to apply material ID in go out. Now I'll use the IPR, IPR of V ray to just render this wall. And now I have select it and I'd like to go and edit the thickness of the, of the frames. I'm going to insert, sorry, I'm going to press the settings and I'm going to type a different value and press OK and go out. I'm going to go to edit poly and we'll use the settings and change the extrusion depth. Again, it retains the bipolar selection. And now if I want to go back and like Edit the insert again. I'm going to press settings and let's go extreme and select 10. And you can see that it's much more noticeable. Let's go to the edit the material ID and make sure you press the face and let it. I want to see why it wouldn't let me change the ID number. Maybe it's because of the IPR, maybe. Okay, the reason is because I don't... Actually, because the ID is not an operation that's uh, recordable, I think. So I may change to 10 or 2 and uh, let's go 5 just and use the IPR. Sorry, I didn't use the IPR. So whether I, I change to 2 or 5, it's not a geometric action. So I guess this is the reason the settings is not um, usable. Now let's go back to the. Actually, I like this curtain wall, but it's not part of the original design of this project as I received from the architects. So let's go back and change the extrusion. Again, settings and minus two. And press OK. And go back to the inset and go back to press OK. And we'll go back to its original value and just to just finish it off let's go and enter the, the original value of the material and actually this is the the whole thing so i hope you like this uh, tutorial and uh, please like if you liked it thank you bye